everybody, welcome to today's daily devotion. Forgiveness is a good thing, isn't it? Have you ever been in a situation where you've done something wrong and you felt really bad about it? And then you were told by the person that you did something wrong against that you were forgiven? It can sure take a load off your mind, I think, as you are told that the situation is okay, that forgiveness has come. And that really is our theme for this psalm that we have to read today. We're in Psalm 32, and the heading of this psalm in my Bible is, Blessed are the forgiven. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. For when I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Therefore, let anyone who is godly offer prayer to you at a time when you may be found. Surely as the rush of great waters, they shall not reach him. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from troubles. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Be not like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curbed with a bit and bridle, or it will not stay near you. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, but the steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. That's a pretty good one too, isn't it? I love these psalms that we've been going through. They're just so great and so full of uh, good encouragement for us and things that we can really empathize and feel with, I think. In this psalm, I think it's interesting because it starts out with that statement, blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity in whose spirit there is no deceit. David's saying there that this is good. It's good to be forgiven. It's good for God not to be holding your sins against you. And then he, he transitions, he pivots real fast there to a time when he kept his sin to himself. He says, for when I was silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. That when he kept his sins to himself, when he kept everything bottled up inside of him, his body just wasted away, that he was uh, struggling with that guilt and that shame. And maybe that's something that you know, too, in your own life, how, Im how much of an impact that guilt and shame can have on you when sins are unresolved. But then verse 5, I acknowledge my sin to you. I did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. That's part of our liturgy that we confess on Sunday morning sometimes. We use those words from the psalmist here. And the rest of that psalm is an is a encouragement to godly people to confess their sins to the Lord and to receive the forgiveness that he has promised uh, to give. Those last verses, many are the sorrows of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Thanks be to God that our sins are forgiven for the sake of Jesus, and that we can live always in that forgiveness, bringing our sins to him and receiving that free forgiveness that he gives to us. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you that we don't have to stew on our sins. We don't have to keep them bottled up inside, but that you have promised that we can bring our sins to you and find forgiveness. Help us to, to not be too proud to confess our sins and that we can, so that we can receive your forgiveness and that we can live in the freedom that comes from knowing that we are forgiven and loved by you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you always.